friends. So today I'm going to do a messy style pixie cut. So I have not done this style very often. I've done like a faux hawk in a previous video, but I really want to try today to do a true messy style. And I'm going to use my blow dryer and my flat iron and several products. So some of the products I'm going to use are a blowout spray to start with. I'm going to then blow dry my hair. And then for styling, I'm going to use a dust it powder from Osis. I've used this only a few times, but it is really cool to use powder like this to help get that messiness look. And then I'm going to use a dry wax for my tips. So we will get started. I'm going to start with this blowout spray. This is Amika Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray. It provides that texture and also temperature protection for your hair. I'm putting a lot on because my hair got a bit dry. While I was putting my makeup on, I just want to work that into your hair. Okay, now I'm going to blow dry my hair and we want to make sure we're blow drying in the direction that we want our hair to be styled. So I'm going to be back here a lot. I'm also going to be from the side and the right side to try to get some height on the top of my hair. Here we go. Okay, so my hair looks a little bit crazy, and if you've watched my videos before, you know I'm pretty conservative when it comes to styling my hair. I have stepped outside of my comfort zone several times, and I've liked what came out of it, but traditionally, like an everyday kind of hairstyle, I don't do crazy, messy looks, although I think they look so so cool on other people. I just haven't been able to like fully embrace, oh, this looks good on me. So we're gonna try that today and see how it comes out. So I'm going to start right now with a little bit of powder. Like I mentioned before, this is the Schwarzkopf Osis Plus. And I'll just tell you what the back says. It is a mattifying volume powder. And it looks like the directions are in several languages, but not English. So I have used this before. It comes out looking like this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to basically use this like a salt shaker on our hair. And I'm gonna start with the roots. So you could tell that I was going back and forth with this mess on top here. What I'd like it to eventually do is be messy on top like this. I don't really want a faux hawk per se, but I'd like it to be messy and have a lot of height on top. And then I'm gonna take the flat iron and kind of get some flat sections in the front here. It's already starting to lay that way. I actually like how it looks right now, believe it or not, but we're going to keep going with this style. So I'm just kind of shaking this into my roots. And now I'm going to just work that powder in. This is just like any other hair product. You don't want to put too much because it'll make your hair feel really weird. But you can see that's already doing so much for the height on top. This is an old product. This has been around for years and it's really good for when you want to get a lot of like messy height on top of your hair. So guys, today is Sunday and I worked really hard this week. I had a long work week. If you don't know, I work remotely. I'm a manager at a curriculum company and today, this week wasn't too bad, but it was 10 hour days. It was about a 50 hour work week and I had to work a couple hours on Saturday. It is still quite busy where I work, but I did do a little bit better this week in terms of like managing my stress. 
And I haven't been sleeping good either lately, but last night I slept for 10 hours straight and I woke up this morning feeling so refreshed and I just needed that so bad. I know sleep is so, so important and it really changes how I deal with things. I'm sure you guys are like that too. Needless to say, I am feeling fantastic today, getting recharged for the week again, and this next week is a four day week, so I'm super excited. I'm gonna have a four day weekend next weekend, and I'm really looking forward to that. It's the July the 4th weekend, so when you're watching this video, I will be on day two of my four day weekend, so I'm really pumped about that. I mean, look how cute this is. This is adorable. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this powder in the back of my hair. The interesting part in how I blow dried this, when I blow dried from this side, even though it's not pointing up that way, it gave a lot of volume on this side. Okay, next step, I'm going to flat iron a couple of these pieces at the front. Okay, so I've got that done and I think the final step will be to put a little bit of wax on the tips to keep it real textured and chunks of defined hair. And this is the Enjoy Dry Wax. It's my favorite hair wax to use if you're talking about waxes, not pomades. It looks like this and it is actual wax. I'm gonna get about that much. And the key with a uh, wax is get it in moderation. You wanna get just a little bit and you wanna rub it all over your hands and that way you're not distributing too much. You wanna just get the tips of the hair with the wax. Otherwise your roots will kind of feel gross. All right, last step is the hairspray. We want this style to stick. I absolutely love it. I would consider this would be like the conservative messy look because there's a lot of height on the top but it's also not going like this. There's a lot of volume and it's also got that really cool messy look to it. So let me show you what the back looks like. We wanna make sure that the back also looks good. And show you the side, which I think this is really cute if you can make the little sideburns kind of forward like this. And then we've got that side. So I'm really happy how the sides and the back look. I'm gonna just do one quick spray. This is Heritage by Mindy McKnight. And we are done. So I'm really happy how this turned out. What do you think? Do you like this? Have you used this Osis before? Let me know in the comments below what you think of this style and if you do something similar to this. So I hope you have a great week. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you and I'll see you next week. Bye.